When over three years ago we presented the cheapest at the market 3D printer on our YouTube channel, at that time we didn't think that thanks to this DIY construction many of you would start your 3D printing adventure. We are talking about the annexed A8 3D printer. A budget construction, that is the sum of many compromises in order to lower the price. A lot has changed since that time in Anit 3D printers. How much has changed, we want to show you on the example of one of the latest model designed by the manufacturer from Shenzhen. Today we will show you, Anit ET4 Pro. The printer arrived just in four days after shipment. Due to availability of the printers in several European warehouses of Annette, you can be sure that no customs duty will be charged on delivery in Europe. Inside of the typical Annette box we find two perfectly matched foamed extrusions. The first one contains the 3D printer gate. The second contains the base. Between the profiles of the gate we also find a small set of tools needed to assemble a printer, a package with documents, a SD card reader, and a spare 0.4mm nozzle. There is also a package with screws, but there are only 6 of them. Is there anything missing here? The answer to this question can be found after a while. The whole assembly process is presented in the colorful manual ZND contains only four steps. In Annette A printers, the assembly instructions were delivered in the form of an illegible black and white photocopy. The only useful detail was the QR code leading to the video instruction. In the case of ET4 the documentation package resembles the one known from Creality. According to the assembly manual, the installation should start with removing all transportation locks. We have to admit that the transportation locks are simple but really solid. After removing the hotbed transportation locks comes the moment of connecting the two main 3D printer modules, the base and the gate. Four longer Allen screws should be put through the holes prepared in the base, screwing the screws one by one we braze the gate. The gate together with the x-axis beam is also obtained in an assembled form, we do not have to install the trapezoidal screw and the motor, all this was assembled in the factory. It is time to unpack the extruder carriage. The extruder carriage is very similar to those known from Ender printers, but it is equipped with an interesting wire harness and a capacitive proximity sensor. Slide the carriage in. Then install the GT2 belt of the X-axis. The Y-axis belt has been installed at the factory. A bundle of extruder cables terminated with several connectors is used to connect the extruder and its equipment to the board located just under the extruder drive. The wires are clearly marked and although some of the connectors are identical, checking the labels makes it easy to connect them to the right sockets. 20 pin IDP socket located on the side of the board is the central communication bus connection point the protected version of the IDP connector provides a secure connection. Dedicated holes make it easy to mount the cables. The last step of the printer's electrical installation is to connect the Z-axis motor control cable.
All that is left is to mount the filament holder. At this point we will use the last two supplied screws and hammer nuts. It took us about 15 minutes to assemble the device, and it must be clearly stated that this is an absolute record when it comes to printers delivered in the form of the so-called flat pack. During the launch of Annette ET4 Pro we are greeted with a colorful welcome graphic. Then three main options appear on the screen and a list of the device's operating language selection. Four supported languages are available on the list, Chinese, English, French, and Korean. Onboard firmware version is 1.0.2. The first impression about the support options is good. The menu is intuitive, and is divided into three main sections described also in the English printed manual. At this point it should also be noted that the written part of the manual is not the result of the digital translator's work, so it is easy to understand the content provided by the author. The printer is ready to work, we start the preheating. The device heats up very quickly after about 3 minutes and is ready to accept the file. For the first prints we have used PLA green fibrology and orange F3D filaments. The filament should be guided through the filament presence sensor located just before the extruder drive, then insert the material into the drive. We start loading the file from the menu. After a while, the filament flows out with an even stream from the nozzle 0.4 mm. Before we start the first printout it should be mentioned that the printer is factory equipped with two types of substrate plates, adhesive pad, and glass plate with fastening clips. Our first prints were made on the glass using Jekin adhesive liquid. The very first table leveling was done in manual mode. The printer is equipped with auto bed leveling, but its operation differs significantly from what we know from ABL sensors operated by Marlin or Repetia. We will come back to the detailed discussion on auto leveling of its calibration and operation in one of the nearest video. At the end today's video we should make a summary. Annette 3D printer has made a huge technological jump since the launch of Annette A8. The ET4 Pro construction seems to be well thought out in every way, it is definitely the easiest construction we have ever seen. The armored-like construction is something completely different from this what Annette is used to with the A8 and A6 acrylic constructions. Previous two old popular models required tedious modifications. ET4 Pro seems to do not need them at all. Factory equipped with self-leveling system, tensioners, filament sensor and 32-bit motherboard with silent TMC2208 controllers, the printer is close to an ideal solution. Looking at the whole construction, it fits between similar constructions such as Ender 3 or Homer's Odysseus, with the difference that its assembly and commissioning requires only the ability to operate an Allen key. From the mechanical side one could wish here, as in other Annette constructions, a second trapezoidal screw on the Z-axis, although it has to be said that the tested unit was adjusted on the rolls from factory almost perfectly and the lack of the second trapezoidal screw was not a problem during the test prints. There are no perfect products, here we can also find confirmation of this thesis. The content of the SD card deserves a strong word of criticism here, which is only suitable for immediate deletion, maybe apart from the copy of the assembly documentation. 
The SD card G-code files created in SIPLIFI A3D cannot be started. The text file describing the recommended start and end G-codes has errors that cause the codes created with them to turn off the extruder heater after starting. The software contained on the card, Kura and Repetia Host are inversions from Annette A. Times. However, at this end of the floors, the card should be cleaned as soon as possible, and to generate codes use the latest Kura 4.7.1 with a profile prepared there for this printer. The effects are immediate and admirable. We will certainly return to this printer, because apart from its good design, it is an open source project, which Annette speaks about completely openly, you can put Marlin on board, which will certainly increase the already very substantial set of device functions. Thank you Annette 3D Printer for making the device available for testing. In the description under the video you will find links to an at 3D page with precise technical parameters, which we did not want to extend today's episode. We will come back to them in the next part, because the bigger sister of the device presented today, Anet ET5 Pro, is already waiting in line for the test. Please remember about the likes and subscriptions, that's all for today. Cheers.